everyone, my name is Amy, and welcome to Shamu Up Close. It is a privilege for all of us to connect with, care for, and celebrate Sea World's killer whales. For nearly 50 years, we have been honored to raise public awareness about these animals and how we are all connected was that it was very closely tied to the marketing of the park itself. Good education is very open-ended and doesn't necessarily lead either to a purchase or... We are all connected to our one ocean. We hope that over the next few minutes... ...whales and what they represent as the ocean's ambassadors. Now no one understands the power of this wondrous connection between people... I think uh, the human-animal interaction is uh, part of the brand that's been developed over 50 years. And I think, um, you know, one of the reasons people expect it is because it's been so central. All right, so she split out there. You didn't hear that whistle. And actually, right now, what the trainers are going to do is take a little bit of a break. Another quote he said was that uh, there's a huge amount of noise in the water around sea pins. Uh, when you... Fireworks do not affect the animals like animals a sea pin does. You might ask, how exactly do you train a killer whale? That's a really good question. The Malia team over here has been working on this behavior for just a little over a year. And it starts out... These are animals that regardless of the type of dispersal patterns they exhibit, they continue to remember their mother, they continue to associate with her for the rest of their lives. Clearly they have lifelong family bonds. And it was decided by the higher-ups that she would be moved to another park when she was just four, four and a half years old. Kasaka continued to make vocals that had never been heard before. She was trying something that no one had even heard before looking for Takara. We hope you can join us again soon for the next amazing chapter in the SeaWorld story.